The fact that muffins have more calories than donuts blows my mind. It's density. Yeah, super interesting stuff. I think college is in real, real interesting, in a really interesting place in 20, 30 years. I just think they're starting to get exposed for the businesses they are. I aggressively, you're about to hear aggressively like being way more open to non-college degrees and alternative paths and I think once businesses start hiring in a different way, people go to college to get a job. I mean, and fun and like, you know, but a lot of people do. So like, it'll be interesting. I'm fascinated by college in a 30, 40 year window. Everybody knows, like everybody knows what's going on, but a lot of their companies just don't let that, like the rules, and I think that's what happens in other places around innovation. Like, the rules say go conservative. Still thinks print first. I mean, and they're like struggling to get like 25 year old women, and they're like baffled. You guys running? Can't wait to run outside and go to the corner store and get a magazine. Fired up, fired up. Like can't can't wait to go home and hope the new L magazine's there, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. So common sense just doesn't have a place in business, and that's the opportunity. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks great seeing you. Have a great day. It's been incredible coming here because I've learned more in the last two years than I've probably learned in the last eight years before that. Like, I yep. love this place. Yep. You I just don't know if you want to be a creative I, lead. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 that's literally the Makes a lot of sense. Right I think if, as long as there's no major limbo period mm-hmm. where you're just like floating in outer space as you find your way, right? Yeah. yeah. And I don't think that by any stretch that's what you're asking. I think how do we figure out what else you could be doing mm-hmm. in a place you love? Yeah. Um, what else could that be? I'm glad that Claude got us together because now these are the things her and I will talk about. In three weeks, like I'll be on a call on the way to the airport and be like, what's going on? And we'll be like, we'll talk for 10 minutes about you. And like, I don't think people get that. No. I don't think they even like, <laughs> like I wouldn't expect them to think that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna need to take some initiative. Yeah. I think having the cafeteria and the serendipity that this company's starting to create a little bit more of is a great timing for you. I think more than ever, you need to cut 15 to 30 minutes out of every day and say hello to people. Like, what do you do? Like, speaking to Claude and I is the right move to put you on the radar for when we're thinking about it. That's great. Like, like otherwise you wake up and you hear Ricky Magoo and Sally have been announced to this and you're like, fuck, that's exactly what I wanted to do. That's why I, I felt like I had Smart. to talk. Smart. Yeah. Good. I need to run to a meeting. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Really great to see you. Yeah, Have a great week. See you too. You too. Ping me any other time. I will. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. See you, D-Rock. See ya. <laughs> See ya. How we're dividing up our work. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Can you guys please make my face and just have it there? Some giant Yeah, just have a, I think you should just make a bunch of my faces and just put me on all of them. I should be on every team. Yeah, I want my face. <laughs> Mix me in. Those are the stupidest things on the, like, can we take them down? I want them down. They're right. Official, this, what? They're like burned on. I don't care, unburn them. Get them the fuck out of here. They're so stupid, they mean nothing to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm right. I love it, yeah. You agree? I agree. Put some fucking Jets jerseys up there. Oh, I gotta do this. Andrew, Andrew, you're in charge of that wall. Get back to me. That fucking bullshit fucking yellow, no, not this one. The fuck, we're taking that shit down. All right. That stuff is garbage. What the you know fuck so? does that mean, <laughs> Nate? It's from your boy. That's been all over. What? Yeah, these fucking bullshit ass Snapchat Packer blankets. <laughs> but those we gotta keep. Yeah, but that shit makes no. Look at Phil. Look how stupid Phil looks walking by that. <laughs> Nate, go take it down right now. Yeah, let's hang, this is good. More 
propaganda about me. That makes sense. <laughs> Fucking yellow squiggly lines, stupid. You should tell Sky at least because I don't want to hurt her feelings before you do it. But Scott. then, but then do it. Sky. Scott, I'm taking down these yellow fucking squiggly lines. Oh, the lines? That's the stupidest shit no, I've ever seen. It means, it means nothing. <laughs> what are they? Sky, I'm taking down these yellow squigglies. The, the, yellow squigglies. the yeah. fucking cube three dimensional horse shit. Take it down. That okay. was me, but I'll take down. No, no, I'm definitely taking them. No, Nate's already taking them down, but I just like oh, you. you don't like them? No, I don't like them. I don't feel like they mean anything to me. They're shapes. Yeah, Nate's taking him down. <laughs> and and, Andrew's now in charge of it. He'll come back with a plan. Luck, I just wanted you to know Nate, when you walk by and be like, where's my cubes? That was you, right? Nope. No, it wasn't. Who's is it? Um, Who wanted it? Got it, okay, good. Babcock and his fucking yellow propaganda. <laughs> we're gonna, I'll, I'll I'm telling you right now, we're gonna stop this yellow propaganda of Babcocks. <laughs> I like the yellow, you don't like the yellow? Sky, be careful. <laughs> We will overcome. We will overcome. Gary, what's all this yellow doing right now? There's so much fucking yellow. It's fucking Babcock's bullshit agenda. We're gonna oh, we're gonna overthrow him. He's finished. What was on the wall that you tore down? There was like some cube shit. I don't know. Nate, I'm really proud of you. I think it's the best thing you've ever done for this company. <laughs> I'm really pumped we're here. Basically the punchline is I want to get into a better cadence, especially with the few individuals that look like you yeah. that actually want to do shit, but I want to do them, like I want to go, I, the way we text it is kind of how I want to go about it, which is something new comes out that's meaningful. I want to understand if we can shoot for the moon and then the reality of the brand, the current climate within the organization or the financial barriers, does that make me land on the mountain and is the mountain worth climbing, right? Uh, so that, that's kind of how I'm thinking. Uh, Report cards on the way? <laughs> so fucking pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl Vivian from the counselor's office and I'm so fucking fired up. So what, they're gonna Three just, here? that's all four years. <laughs> you know what, Remember. do you know I've been having a recur, this is a true story that I've been having a recurring dream for 20 years that I don't graduate high school. That my, like they tell me like, you didn't do it. Like you, you didn't graduate, you can't walk. And now I weirdly think that they may look at these and be like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I might be opening up a can of worms that I don't want to deal with. Hug it out. I like hugging. How are you? Good? good. All good stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> it's what is he? Flustered about his assignment. I mean, sounds like he's a losing player. My, 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 my into, listen, my intuition was, I'm winning twice. I'm winning twice. We got rid of the fucking geometric center and Andrew G. This is perfect. Wait, you just called? What just happened? Oh, dude, totally. Don't worry, don't worry. You know I'm joking, right? It's just like Sid. Is Sid here? No. He's right there. <laughs> no, 
no, he doesn't have to talk to Sky. I told Sky that I took it down, and then like I just am waiting for Andrew to give me some information on what he thinks we should put there. Wait, Andrew's an interior designer. He's worried about it. There's pressure. He's a serious kid. He's great. I can't wait. He can draw. He can paint. I don't know. Yeah, that's what. That's super fine. I'm fine with that. I just didn't want the fucking squiggly lines. <laughs> hey Facebook, it's me Gary, but you know that. Um, this is my team, lots of them, all very attractive, great hair, Zach, tie, and I just, this is my crew. This is my crew, right? Just, we're doing context. What time is it? 8.30. There's my team, lots of, Lots of people, you know, just to give you, trying to give you some context here. Here's the overall office thing. We're just gonna do a little tour. We're just gonna look at density in the office. My crew, it's Sid, I'm very happy. <laughs> my, Sid's here, so my crew, right? Now let's just go walk around. No, no, no. Let's see this block, finance. Nope, looks like no bills will be paid. HR, recruiting, nope. Looks like an O for 50. Kitchen. Yes, great work. I love it, brother. All right, a little bit there, a little hustle there, not bad. Yes, shoots, I'm very impressed. Now I'm just doing a little live stream based on the density of my team at the office, which is very full. This is just the entire wing over here, hundreds of people, nobody but, shoots, Anna. Anna, you made a Snapchat appearance today. I did. Were you excited about that? Shoots, very nice, okay. I think we should go downstairs, right? Can I go through here? I think so. All right, let's see. We're still good. Hope you guys are super well, okay. Okay. D-Rock, help me. Got it, awesome. Got it, oh Marcus. You know what, you're the best, Marcus. I'm just going around the office showing how full my team was. We were all Jeez, there. Is there? Well, most of the senior people are here. That's very good. Yes, great job, Chase. Very impressed. A good, a good percentage. I'm just going around the office, trying. Are you, are you guys are hustling. Very good, I'm very happy. All right, nope, none here. Oh, very good, Ryan with his new haircut. Good separation, mask, what up my man? Very nice, look at Loomis holding it down. Just Waldy, oh geez, very good. All right, very nice, good percentage. I'm proud of this downstairs. You should have seen some of the pockets upstairs, just Waldy. Deserts? Deserts. No hustle Kind of. Yeah, no hustle, kind of like your fantasy baseball team. <laughs> Love it. And that was the hustle tour. All right, Jarek, I'm out of here. Well, this is gonna be exciting. A lot of you talk about too much content. I'm pounding you with too much content. Well, good news. I'm going off the grid for two and a half, three weeks. So now I'll be back to, you know, nice and quiet. There'll be some old stuff that other Tyler creates and finds. You think that's funny, Stefan? You're gonna have to find some shit too. Oh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great end of summer. We'll be back with Vengeance. I'm gonna walk, to, oh, I'm gonna be on the West Coast right away. We'll send D-Rock out there because I gotta make Jets predictions. We'll be right into football season the second I see you again. A uh, little family downtime for the next two and a half, three weeks. So enjoy and I will talk to you guys soon.